Come on. Can't even remove my body clip. <sighs> hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ Spirit C. Quick tip today. I want to show you guys to be able to remove your body clip with more um, ease, should I say, uh, when you're having issues removing them. Certain, um, like this vehicle here, the Andromeda, uh, the front one is very easy depending on the size of it. The back one here, uh, it's a little bit harder, especially on the side, they, sometimes it will flip. And now basically you can't even grab it. You need to push it on one side. And on certain cases, your body clip is going to be so hard, you won't be able to push it on this side here. One of the tricks I do uh, on certain of my body clips, what I do, I grab zip ties. There's a couple of ways you could do it. Uh, I saw a lot of people sometimes just grab the zip tie and just going around, leaving it this way here. And when you're putting on the vehicle, the zip tie just flops around and it's easy to grab and remove your zip tie. But what I saw after a while, the zip tie slowly, slowly closes itself. Now you have a big piece that's flopping on your vehicle, can go on your dry shaft, things like that. What I do, this I'm not a big fan of, Let's remove this one right here. I grab two zip ties. The first one, what I'll do, I'll cut it maybe a couple of inches by inches, millimeters from the, the physical head of the tie wrap. And I'll put it aside. I grab my second one, put it around the body clip and fully close it. I don't know right there. The other thing I do, I grab like a, an old piece of wire that I have and grab my wire cutters right here. What I'll do, I'll remove a little bit of the shielding. And just the shielding. The rest of the wire, let's do it away. Now what I do, I put it on top of my tie wrap. Then I grab the other piece that I cut earlier, put it on top and basically slide it down. Then I do cut the excess. Now that way you have it here. Now you grab the cutters again and cut the other end. Now, basically what you end up having is like this piece right here. When you're gonna turn around and put it on the vehicle itself, it's easier and it's not dangling everywhere. Now, you could put it shorter. I just did it this size here to be able to show you guys a little bit better here, but it's super easy to grab and just remove it. And I'll try to bring it closer to you guys to see it. Hoping and wishing the camera focuses. Come on. Yes, she doesn't want to. She really doesn't want to. <laughs> Sorry about that. Again, tie it. Good. Let's do another one. I have to make sure you have two identical tie wraps like I don't have. Here we go. You grab your first one, cut it to the, wherever you want, and just keep the physical square piece. Then grab yourself a piece of wire. And let's do this one a little bit smaller here. You grab your, tie, your body clip, put it around. And the other thing you could use too, you could use even nitro uh, hoses. Now, once this is done, grab your nitro hose or your shield from a wire, 
pop on top of the tie wrap. And the reason I was saying on the other one to leave a little bit of, of uh, the tie wrap there is that way you know which side is the, uh, the lock. Now, if you're not sure, you may not insert it correctly and it won't, if you put it upside down, it won't lock. No, I know this, what side I cut. I just bring her down. Don't put her too tight. Grab your cutters. Cut your excess. And there you go. You got two body clip removers. That looks nice. You could put in multiple colors. If it happens, you drop them on the ground. If the ground is black, it's easier to see. You'll see color. You could use yellow. You could use red. Uh, I would not suggest to use black because now it's going to be a little bit harder to see. Now, once your body clips are done, you grab your vehicle, put them back on. and you're off to the races. Super easy to remove. There you go. If you guys have any questions or comment, post down below, I'll be glad to answer you guys. If you like this video, hit the like button right here. I do appreciate it guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.